Hello friends, it's Nick Vargas here in the uh, Sources Virtual LGBT Center. And we have different guests coming in to join us here in the Virtual Center. And we have a very special friend of the Source, <laughs> Jessica Rivera. She has been a volunteer. She has helped promote the Source with her podcast, Visalia Podcast. And she does a lot in the community. And one of the things that we've been talking about and that's on everybody's mind is stress, what it is, how to deal with it. And Jessica has been devoting some time to doing this because stress has affected her, affecting others. And so we're gonna hear what, what she's learned. So Jessica, thank you for being here. Thank you so much. And I mean, the Source LGBT Plus Center, you guys mean a lot to me. I actually have notes. This is how important you guys are to me. I was taking notes because I wanted to make sure that I educated people. I know a lot of people are short on time right now. They really want to learn what's important. So thank you, Nick, for inviting me and I'm honored to be here. Yeah, we're so glad to have you. So what have you been learning about stress and how to cope with it? Tell us, tell us what your so thoughts have been. So let me tell you from the beginning, um, I woke up today and I said, you know what? I need to take a class on something different. And for the past couple of years, I've been learning a lot about like social media and podcasting and networking and designing logos. So I've been doing that a lot lately. And I said, you know what? I need something to distract me, right? Because there's a lot going on in my life. I have three kids. I mean, we own a business in downtown Visalia. And I, I was on the couch with my daughter. She was ready to fall asleep. And I said, you know what? I need to take a class. I need to like, listen to a new podcast, something, something to educate myself. And then a, a commercial came up on, on TV and it said, say education until your Xfinity remote. And so I'm all, hmm. So I grab my remote and I'm all education. And right away, um, let me tell you the other different classes they have. They have classes on, uh, so, okay, education. And then right away it came up, it said, uh, learn as an adult or a child, new ways to, to grow throughout this time. Free classes until April 19th. And I go, okay, oh. that's me. Free? Okay. Yeah. So I went through the list for the adults because there's a section for children. Um, and so National Geographic actually has a class, Fundamentals of Photography, uh, Learning Spanish, which I need to do, How to Draw, Mastering Tai Chi, which is perfect right now, raising emotionally healthy kids and then the one that caught my attention and i clicked on was make stress work for you yeah that, that's a timely topic so how do what have you learned so far about making stress work for you and, and who teaches the class all right so it's kimberly bethany bonura b i'm gonna i'm gonna sign it actually k-i-m-b-e-r-l-e-e -E -E. B E T H A N Y Bethany, and then Bonura is B O N U R A. She has her PhD in fitness and wellness, and she also graduated from the Florida State University. Um, and she does yoga. So wow, mm -hmm. she, she I mean, she does yoga and talks about stress. She must know her stuff. So what are her what 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 is stress like? What what does she talk about stress? So, um, Nick, what's the opposite of stress? If we could have a continuum, stress, and then what's the opposite? So I might have an unfair advantage because I was a psych major and I, this is something I've thought about, but I'm going to say that the opposite of stress is apathy or when you just yes. care. Yes, correct. And, and she said something interesting in the video. You got to listen to that about what she said. People usually, what they say about what's the opposite of stress. So you're right on. Ding, ding, ding. Um, what does he win? What does he win? <laughs> we, should have, we should have a show and have prizes. <laughs> right now we're giving away a source bracelet. So look. Oh, I, I have mine. I love it. Um, okay. So she said, and this is the activity that I want everybody listening to this to do. She, I'm looking for the notes. Look, look at my notes. I'm such a journalist, right? Okay. She said, just make a list of everything that, that keeps you up at night or makes you stressed out or whatever let me give you some examples okay and um i'm gonna go i'm gonna do personal i'm gonna get personal on you so what really irritates or not irritates me but it makes me be like oh my gosh is when emmanuel leaves to work and of course he has a lot in his mind he owns a shop and he forgets to put the trash out you know and so i'm all oh my goodness so i have to go out there and do it and you know i'm being a little brat but that's one of my things or 
sometimes, you know, he's, he gets home late sometimes. He has clients. So my kids are with me for like 14 hours straight. So he gets home and I'm like, oh my goodness, just let, and now it's funny. This is the joke. I'm all, oh my goodness, just let me go to the backyard for 10 minutes or let me go to the front yard because we can't really go anywhere. And before <laughs> I'd be like, what up, Elisa? What up, Marlene? You know, let's go to Stellar Door. Now it's like, <laughs> I'm in my front yard. I'm just looking around like, so back to the list, you got to think about what keeps you up at night. And I know at night I'm thinking now about my friends who have businesses who are, who are online saying, Hey, I'm offering free delivery, seeing them having to do that to keep their, their business alive stresses me out because I have children. And if I was in their shoes, Oh my goodness, you know, um, I wouldn't know what to do. And I see my friends who have husbands who are cops. I see my friends who are doctors and they're out there, my friends who are nurses. So that's what's stressing me out. And guess why I'm stressing out about that? Why? What, why me? Well, Dr. Kimberly said we stress about the things that we actually care about. So, yeah, I mean, is that true? Yeah. I, yeah, okay. I think that's, I mean, it's true for me. We only, if I did, that's why I said apathy, because if I don't care about something, I'm not thinking about it, not stressing me out could go either way. But if I care about something, then if I don't think it's doing well or something happening or a person, yes, stressful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. And so what's like, what's going, what are your stresses right now, Nick? So uh, in keeping up, so right now I have a, a list of all our friends and supporters at the source that I am trying to go down with the help of Noah Deeds. And, and others, and just like reach out to people and check in with them. I feel there's so many people I want to see, how are you doing? That it's just overwhelming. I mean, this is, so I have that, like how are, how are our friends doing? How are supporters doing? Mm-hmm, and, mm-hmm. You know, what, no mental health, right? Mental health, their physical health too, yeah. stuck at home. Can we get them something, you know, like that type of stuff. And then the other thing is, you know, what does this all mean for like your, your like very similar to what you're saying. I, I see people that I know struggling. I hear of people out there struggling. What does that mean for us generally as mm-hmm. the dust settles from this? Do we go into recession? What is it like? And then what does that mean for the work I do? And Man. the work, you know, that is, we're very dependent <laughs> on events. Like, you know, you volunteered for Over the Edge and yeah. at Pride. We're very dependent. And we don't know if those events can happen or how they happen. So those are the things, like, because I care about that. I care mm-hmm. very deeply about, you know, our friends, our supporters, you know. And I care deeply about our organization and mm-hmm. people now who have come to depend on our organization. Yeah. And you know what? This is a time... I actually posted a couple weeks ago or two weeks ago. I said, right now is the time to evaluate what is your role as a community member? So, I mean, and and for me, I said, you know what? I need to really uh, promote some positivity and my kids. I'm so glad I I actually started crying a couple of days ago. I was watching a a video with a Niccolo and um, I saw the, the Fox theater and then I saw downtown and I start crying and my husband goes, that's a real tearjerker, huh? And I looked at him and I was like, Ugh. I was like, do you understand? He's not, he wasn't born here, you know, nothing against him. But I think he was just being silly. That's Emmanuel. But I was just like, oh my gosh, like all these tears are going to my face as I'm watching the Fox Theater. And I said, you don't get it. This is my town. I was born at Cuya Delta. Um, I came back here because I wanted to be here and help them. And right now we need help. And I'm crying tears because I'm thinking of my friends who are out there crying too. And they have to keep a brave face because they have kids or they have a business or, you know, like you, I mean, I bet you've shed some tears about this. And I actually talked to Jody Dillon and I'm all, is it okay for me to cry right now? And she goes, it's okay, Jessica, you can cry. But, um, I've been watching a lot of my, my Sally's podcast videos and I put a little playlist earlier and, I mean, watching like you guys when we're over the edge, just seeing that video, I, I, I just cry because I remember when we were there and that feeling and that closeness and, and I want that back now, <laughs> you know, I, it, it would be great to be able to go back in time and be there on that day when people are going over the edge. And, you know, I, 
I believe we're going to have more times like that going forward. It's just like what happens between now and then and the people like mm -hmm. it's going to impact. And yeah, I, I can't imagine right now having a business and kids that you're trying to keep afloat, you know? And yeah. That's, so that, that is stressful. That is something. So well, you know what? Um, I was going to say to anyone who has kids who's watching this, um, I do promote to read with your kids and write daily just as a way to keep your kids on track because if they stop writing, they actually lose the fine motor skills to write. Um, and so all I'm saying is 20 minutes for writing, for reading and math. So that's two for an hour. Um, right now, parents really need to, to process this, which leads me back to my notes. So whatever you told me right now, list all that out and they need to categorize it into four categories. And I'm going to get you the categories now. And, and the, I want to tell you that what you talked about, most of that is considered trauma on this spectrum of stress. So I'm like, where's, when I was a teacher, I did not take notes like this. <laughs> so yeah, but okay. Trauma is a big deal for our community in general and I, there's i'm sure there's a lot of people experiencing trauma around what's happening right now i'm trying to find the little continue i have my little chart oh here it is okay you ready so here's the four four um categories and so make your list again i'm going to do mine as well after we're done talking and the four categories are true trauma stressors of daily living activities of daily living and then um not being aroused apathy which are your irritants so they said that you need to really um understand that there's four categories because what people do is that they lump stress all in one and so they're treating um something that they don't care about as a true trauma and what that does is that it causes you know high blood pressure and it makes you three times likelier to die because you're stressing about something that is very insignificant as if it's a death or a divorce or a pandemic like what we're in right now. So people really need to give themselves the time and space to process this. We're all um, trying to process and understand in different ways. You know, you see me doing my TikToks with my kids. I'm really trying to stay strong and find a way to make them laugh, you know? And, and that's my way with dealing with stress. You see me on live talking to people and I have my pink lipstick on, but you know what? I'm putting this pink lipstick on because I need to keep going. I stopped putting my pink lipstick on a couple of days ago. And my son goes, mommy, why don't you put makeup on no more? And I go, oh my goodness, that's not good because that means that I'm not doing what makes me happy. And I love art and, and connecting with people. So I, I looked at my son and I'm like, I'm gonna go put my makeup on right now. So we gotta be forgiving. We see people doing certain things and and throwing shade and um, I'm part of this little mass text message um, with these influencers in Visalia and at the end of the day it's so nice we always text each other thank you for, for doing what you do um, Visalia strong um, remember to have grace so I have a little community of friends who are who are cheering me on but telling me Jessica remember though stay humble and, and know why you're doing this so thank you Nick um, for, for letting me speak and, and to educate whoever's listening to this. And again, it's nice to seek out educational materials that are free at this time. Uh, I'm telling a lot of the parents to go to starfall.com. That's star, S-T-A-R-F-A-L-L.com. Enchantedlearning.com. You have to email them and they'll send you a free login. Um, and so you get free uh, printables for your children. You can learn sign language. So that's all I got to say. I mean, I, I'm excited to, to join forces with you guys again in person. I, I, I saw this meme where it said that once we see everybody, we're all going to be like running to each other, a hug. And then we're going to be like, Oh wait, should we hug each other? You know? So <laughs> what are we going to do next? The next time we see each other, are we just going to be like, namaste or. <laughs> I, I think uh, it calls for a big hug and celebration. For <laughs> sure. So Thank you for, for sharing some thoughts on stress. You know, I've definitely heard that how you think about stress is how it affects you. So if you're thinking about it as this killer, then it's gonna be a killer. If you're thinking about it as something that's getting you ready to take action, 
take action, like you're saying, on something you care about or for people you care about, that's the more healthy way to think about stress, especially around now. A lot of stress for people, especially thinking about other people. So we all have to do what we can to take care of ourselves, use resources like the ones you're, you're talking about, and keep in mind that we are going to be able to see each other again, yeah. to be at events, and that is on its way. We just need to do what we do now to keep ourselves safe and healthy, keep others safe and healthy. So thank you. <laughs> thank you and so much. I, I need you to get ready because you have uh, an interview on Visalia podcast with Justin Levine. Yes. So say hello to him for us and we will, we will see you soon. All right. Thank you so much. And thank you. Make sure you follow me on Visalia's podcast. It's Visalia S podcast. And it's not my podcast. It's your podcast, Visalia. Awesome. We'll, we'll be posting. Bye. Too. Thank you. Thank you.